big changes are coming to the age pension and superannuation. On July 1, the thresholds used to determine how much pension is paid will be adjusted, leaving many Australians better off. Rosie Tran and her husband Lawrence are only halfway to retirement age, but as they start planning a family, they've learnt it's never too early to future-proof their finances. So what we've already done is increased our voluntary super contributions. Ideally, if we can contribute up to the concessional cap, that would be great. From July 1, the amount your employer has to tip into your super increases from 10.5% to 11%. If you're in a financial situation where you're, you've got that solid foundation, you've got some extra cash, well then look at can you make some extra contributions and claim a tax deduction for them. Eligibility for the age pension also lifts next month to 67 years old. Income test thresholds are also changing. A single pensioner will now be able to earn $204 a fortnight and still pocket the full pension, an increase of $14, while a couple can earn up to $360 a fortnight, an increase of $24. When an income exceeds those amounts, the pension reduces by 50 cents for every additional dollar earned. They've adjusted the scale so everybody on a part pension gets the increase and also some people on a part pension will move to a full pension. Asset tests have also increased. For single homeowners, you can have assets worth up to $301,000 before the pension starts reducing, $451,000 for couples. For non-homeowners, you'll receive the full pension as long as your assessable assets are under $543,000, $693,000 for couples. It is worth setting a reminder for when all these changes kick in on July 1, particularly to monitor your pay and super accounts to ensure you are getting those increased contributions.